How's it going, everybody? Mike's, Mike's here with another uh, Excel how-to. All right, today we're gonna talk about the how to do the average, the maximum, and the minimum in uh, Excel. So, um, the last video, we went through on how to do the sum, and also one quick, quick way you can also do a sum is, so we, we talked about you know, the equal sum function. And one way you can do it also real quick without even typing anything in, just using your mouse, is you can just highlight, highlight these. So left click and drag down, you'll have your sum down there in the bottom. So sum $410,000. You also have your max, your average. I have a count. So you can change what you have down here by right clicking and like, I don't have minimum on here. If you notice, there's no minimum here. I have a max, I have a sum, count, and an average down at the bottom here in the gray bar. So if I wanted to have minimum in there, I would just right, right click in this bar and then left click on minimum. And now I have min in there. So the min is 15,000. So, but let's just say we don't have that because, you know, sometimes too much is not necessarily a good thing. You know, sometimes it's kind of cluttered. So let me get off minimum, let me take off, you know, maximum, and let's just have the sum and the average. So there's my $410,000 for my sum still, and it does sum to $410,000, as we know from last video. So the average now, so we want to take the average, so we type, type in equals, average, and then it's going to let you select how many different numbers you want to take the average of. And of course, it'll take the average, you know, just like, you know, we learned in school. It's going to take, you know, however many numbers there are and divide by that many numbers. So if we do the average, let's say the average of the whole group of salaries here, we left click and drag that down. And so the average of D3 through D16, close parentheses, and hit enter. The average is $31,538. And we can click this bottom right button here and drag across, left, left click and you're hold, holding the button down, drag across. So this will do each respective row. So if we look at this, it's going to take the average of the bonus, the average of method one, method two. Um, and now if we do the max, we can do the exact same thing. We type in equals max. And let's select our same group here. So this will find the maximum of this entire group of numbers, this entire data set, we'll say. And then close parentheses. And that's what it'll look like. And the maximum here, the maximum salary is $50,000. And just, just eyeballing it quickly, you know, you can see that it's $50,000. This is John Smith's right here. Now let's do the minimum. So we type in equals min, and this will find the lowest value. So let's highlight our data set again, close parentheses, and we get $15,000, and quick eyeball on it, yep, $15,000. Now two people share that same thing, but it really doesn't matter because that's still the minimum. That's still the definition of the minimum, it's still the lowest value. And now if we highlight both of these, we can use this little button on the bottom right and drag to the right. And that will copy the formulas in the respective cells, the respective columns. And if you look at the, some future videos that I have, I will get into how to lock the cell references. So if you wanna lock like a column, lock a row, so subscribe and you'll find, you'll find more and more videos with how-tos and, you know, tri tri quick trips and tricks and more efficiency for, you know, your job or whatever you're doing. You can be working on your budget, your household budget, working on golf scores, whatever you want. <laughs> I, I, I do more Excel work than, you know, every, everything I do is pretty much in Excel. So this is pretty much my life and I love it. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.